right, well, I get to talk to one of our scholarship winners who's a presenter tonight. All right, Jeffrey? Jesse. Jesse. Kirsch. Yes, Kirsch. there you go. She got that part. Right? I got the last name, not the first name. <laughs> that's, that work. That's, what, that's what matters. <laughs> All right, so can you tell everyone what you won your scholarship for, what sure. you're doing now, and who's this guy next to you? <laughs> uh, so I went to Northwestern University, and in my senior year, which would have been 2016 to 17, I won one of, our, one of the scholarships, the presidential scholarship here. So you'll have to ask the, the committee what exactly uh, they gave me that for, but uh, I was very involved. Uh, yes, the whole crew okay, and Mike okay. Lowe from okay, GN, yep, yeah, yep. and Dan Magner and all those guys. Um, so, so won that scholarship. Was very involved with the school TV station. Shout out to the Northwestern News Network. They're here tonight. They've got a show up and uh, some individuals up for awards. So very involved with the school TV station and did some work in Michigan in college as well on air. Lansing, CBS oh affiliate gosh. in Lansing. So I know. Not a Spartan. I'm and not a, a Spartan. Cat, no, I'm a Wildcat right? all the right, way through and Wolverine. through. No, Michigan I don't. Well, well, I'll just look this way. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because we school you every year. All right. You know, it's been pretty close. I didn't know this is what this was going to turn into. <laughs> okay. What are? What's your name? <laughs> uh, I'm Jordan Arsenault. I work with Jesse at ABC Seven. Okay. And one of the things that we do is we contribute to ABC's new hyper-local initiative called Localish. Okay. And we are producing local stories for national audiences on Facebook, Instagram, our, our YouTube channel is going to be launching soon. Okay. And so we're kind of taking that local storytelling element and we're like bringing it out to the masses. Digitally. Digitally, yeah. Okay. exactly. Yeah, and the other thing that's awesome about yeah. that is that we're able to tell stories in a different sort of way. We're not doing the traditional TV thing when we when we do that. Um, it's kind of fun because I think that I look at Jordan stuff, I'm like, all right, how can I try to emulate that? Because, you know, you know, it's, it's really great to work with him on that stuff. Yeah, we, and we are, like, cut from the same cloth. Yeah. Because we do everything. We're shooting, we're editing, we're producing everything ourselves. And ABC Localish is kind of loving it because they're getting really good content out of us locally. They're utilizing all of the ABC-owned television stations across the country to do it. Right. To create viral content that is good for advertisers. So. That's genius. Why didn't they come up with this like 10 years ago? A lot, I mean, people are doing it. Like, yeah. you see Great Big Story, which is CNN's initiative. Uh -huh. You see things like attention. You see or worth it on BuzzFeed, stuff on like Buzzfeed that. Yeah, stuff like that. So there are, are online companies that are doing it. It's now is the time for television companies to get involved and say, hey, we've got local resources in all these different cities. Why aren't we producing content that people enjoy? You're already doing it for your stations. Yeah. Why aren't we putting it online? Yeah. So would you guys consider yourselves to be millennials? I think so, but don't tell anybody. Maybe a millennial. I'm 37. So yeah, I, I think I, I think I missed the cutoff. I think I'm on the other end of that because like everyone argues, am I actually a millennial? Because I'm right on that cusp in the 90s. We won't. Okay, we won't talk okay. too much about that. I just think this is so innovative, and this just goes to show, I mean, tonight everyone presenting is a scholarship recipient, so it's like we're celebrating the youth, if, if you want to consider yourself youthful. Youths. Yeah, the youths. Youths. Yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah. if that is that a bad if word. I shave, or, uh, I think I could pull off the money. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, he's got, the, he's got the hair and the beard going. Right. The, the scruff I'm makes him look more. Me, you got the scruff going. Yeah, yeah, yeah I need a bonnet <laughs> or something, like maybe a man bun. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go over to Jeff. He does not have any facial hair today or a man bun. So, hey, Jeff. <laughs>